So right now you can see the brightness. It's a maximum brightness is 350 nits, and then so for this one, it, uh, for this one is 350 because with the polarizer you can maybe it seems dim, but actually it's it's, uh, it's very bright due to the polarizer. So this is a very special printed QD. EL. EL yeah. How does it work? What is? It's not OLED. Uh, they have the similar structure as OLED. So it has. It's also a sandwich structure. We, so the only different thing is that for the emissive layer for OLED, they are using the OLED organic materials. For this one, we are using quantum dots. It's inorganic materials. So quantum dot materials yeah. directly emitting. Directly emitting. There are no backlight at all. No backlight. Yeah. And. Do you need any mask in this configuration? No, you know, this is an inkjet printing, so we don't need any mask. So we have the substrate. The substrate, there are a lot of well in the substrate. So we just do the inkjet to put the ink into the well, and then you, can, you get a screen. What is this well? So it's a, you, can, you can imagine deep a hole there. There are a lot of holes there. <laughs> like, so this. like this one, yeah, exactly. There's, uh, there's a 4K hole? So it's 4K of these? Oh, yeah, 4K times three. So, oh, no, so the reason why not not 4K, not 4K, yeah. it's 2.8K. 2.8K, yeah. Yeah, right now the resolution is is more than 400. Uh, it's more than 200 PPI. And how do you make those holes exactly where they need to be? Uh, we we design it actually. We, we have design and we uh, cave it actually. Is that a special thing to do? No other display have this? Oh uh, no, it's quite common for for inkjet area. It, the substrate is quite common actually. So is it the same technique on the other e inkjet OLED? Uh, they also similar. Have these holes under? Yeah, for the hole under it's the same technique. So for OLED, for QLED, they are using similar uh, substrate, similar hole. And those substrate need a mask to make them? Uh, yeah, for substrate we need a mask. All right, so. So uh, is this very, very special to show QDEL mm -hmm. in the market? Nobody showed this before? Uh, so right now in the market, they are QDPL. So it's a photoluminescence QD product. So QDPL. PL, photoluminescence. That means you, you have to have a backlight. You have a backlight, and the light will excite and the, the corner dots. Oh, so and that's have the LCD. A, LCD, LCD, yeah. QD LCD. Yeah, QD LCD or QD OLED. But no, QD emissive. It's different. It's a electro luminescent. Nobody have it in the market today? Nobody have it in the market. Only TCLC is uh, this is not in the market. This is a R&D yeah, prototype. prototype. Yeah. How soon it can be mass production? Uh, we plan to put it into market in about two to three years. So how good are the colors? Uh, the color purity is very good because, due to, in principle, the QD nature itself have a very narrow wavelength. So, so right now their their they go, uh, their wavelengths uh, their uh, peak wise is shorter. It's narrow than 15 nanometer. So it's quite good comparing to OLED. So right now the color gamma is higher than 85 percent of BT 2020. Which display in the world has the best colors? Uh, the Which is the best color in the world? Best is this going to be better than the best? Uh, the best, I believe, right now, if we didn't consider any cost, I think the best going to be micro LED. Yeah, but it's quite expensive. Yeah. Quite expensive. So is there any chance, because inkjet printing sounds like magic, you know? It sounds like you can just uh, print it. It's, and it's it quite just, easy, actually. <laughs> quite easy. Yeah, it's that like a, mm -hmm. the price will be affordable. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. All right. Uh, how about uh, the amount of material you need for the quantum dot? How much mm -hmm. quantum dot stuff is in here compared to a QD LCD? Is uh, it the same amount? No. So the quantum dots here are going to be thinner because for QD LCD, the thickness of the quantum dots will be around or um, even more than one micron. One micron thickness. But for here, we're talking about quantum dot layer is about 10 to 20 nanometer thing. So 10 to 20 nanometers. Nanometer thing. Much thinner. Much thinner, yeah. Much less material. Exactly. Cheaper. Yeah. Whoa. So, so that's the cost way. Uh, what is going to be the life lifespan on this kind of device? Is there any chance, is there any risk, or maybe it's going to be great? Um, it's a risk there. So it's a blue problem. So for right now, the, the red and green, they already have a similar lifetime as OLED as the IGP OLED, but for the blue, is still a problem. The blue looks nice. When it looks nice, blue, but you know, if you keep the screen for, let's say, a month, and then you can, see, you can see the blue decay very fast. Why is it the same problem with the OLED and this QDEL with the blue? 
Uh, I think for the, the blue for OLED, it's already okay, actually. Already, already got commercial. There's a trick in OLED that they make double the amount of blue. Two blue, mm -hmm. one red, one green, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, is it going to be the same here? You can have double blue to have less problem with blue? Uh, you know, right now it's R&D. So for right now, it's one red, one green, and one blue. We don't use double blue. But the, the pixel size for the blue is bigger. So it's a bigger pixel size. And yeah. in theory, if you want, and in future, you put more blue. Yeah. That, maybe. That, that, that maybe, yeah. So, maybe, yeah. So this one doesn't work, huh? If I put bright, uh, nothing, nothing happens. Happen. You can see you put nothing happens. How bright it can be, maximum in the future? Uh, the I same think, like other display or? No, I think it can be higher than, no, right now it's 350. And that we definitely can put into more than 400 for sure. The only problem is blue decay. So if we fix the problem, the, uh, the line is can be much higher than 400 for sure. What would be cool is if you buy a laptop with a great display and as soon mm -hmm. as the blue is running out, you just print another screen, and put it on. Like change. <laughs> you know, it's money. Only okay, about money. Money, money, money okay. <laughs> yeah. But if it's not expensive, then okay. Yeah, you know, it depends on how cheap it can be. <laughs> and this QDEL will be every size in the future? So for because we are using inkjet printing, so basically for inkjet printing, the pixel the PPI usually cannot be higher than 400 PPI. So that's why for the inkjet printing product, usually we will use it for notebook, and then we will use it for the TV. So, so for the middle size or the bigger size, but it can be hard to no phone, no, no, phone, phone, no cell phone. Yeah. But uh, so this can for sure be for the TV market soon. For also. sure. Yeah, TV market for sure. We can, in the future, we can make it into uh, 65 or even higher. Uh, and what's bigger. the difference in, in quality for the inkjet printing QDEL compared to the inkjet OLED. printing OLED? Yeah, in principle, for the corner down themselves, they have a higher efficiency and a higher lightness. And the other things about the peak wise for the corner dots is narrow. It's much narrower than OLED. So that's why we can have a better color gamma. But this engine print in OLED looks great also. Yeah, so it, because it's already mature, it's in product right now. Mature, but that's amazing that it's mature already, yeah. right? But it took how many years to be mature? Uh, to, for OLED? Yeah. I think more than 30 years. 30 years on working on this? From the beginning, right? <laughs> for inkjet printing? Uh, no, not inkjet. I mean, for, uh, for FM. It's a small molecule or small molecule OLED? Uh, I'm not very sure for OLED. <laughs> I'm in charge yeah, of yeah. Yeah. Oh, this great. I remember nice. 15 years ago, it's a hype in China QD display. And now, and later on, I hear nothing. It sounds less dead. And no, everyone concentrates on micro LED. And you yeah. suddenly. Yeah, for T cell, we, you know, we keep pushing for the OLED, uh, for the QLED. Uh, uh. And what about the lifetime? So, the lifetime, right now, the, the red and green is not a problem. The red and green already has a similar lifetime as yeah. OLED. It's a, but the blue one is still a trouble. Uh, can you quantify? Yeah, the blue one, for right now, lifetime, the T95 at 1,000 nit is around 100 hours. Okay. You, know, you can see for OLED, so it's about four to 500 hours. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah. So specify 1,000 hours, but in reality, yeah. it's much lower. Yeah. So, does that mean you printed this display just before the show? And uh, just a few days before? And you uh, no, no, it's a month, one month ago, at least. And it was running before? Yeah. Right. What about efficiency? Uh, efficiency, you are, we are using the top emission one. Mm -hmm. So for the red, it's higher than 40 10 per m. And for the green, it's higher than 150. And for the, uh, for the blue, it's around 10. Similar to 